Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. As we have started our uh, CSS safety tutorial series and this is our uh, lesson 9 and in our previous two lecture I have just shown you that how we will uh, draw and uh, analyze a slab and we, ha we have completed our model and in this lecture I will just show you that how we will design that slab and also how we will find out its detailing. So if you are new to our channel and also if you think that that is helpful for you and also if you are a civil engineer then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update every first and in this channel you will find every solution about civil engineering software so first of all I will open our previous model so this is our previous model and if you are following my lecture then you know that this is our previous model so now uh, I will just go here XY plane mode now uh, before uh, our design just we have to go for step identifier so to uh, define a step go ahead edit okay and here go ahead add or edit design strip then click here add design strip okay so now here you are seeing that here uh, auto I will just uh, recommend you that use auto otherwise you have to use uh, the design strip as manual so I will uh, recommend you to use auto so our uh, global direction it's X and our step layer it's a okay it's layer is a then just simply click here and also select her uh, global and here obviously click uh, take here here is the include middle strip we'll use middle strip okay with column strip so press ok just see here uh, here we are seeing that some strip it's automatically identified okay there it is the column strip this is the middle strip this is the middle strip and here is the column strip again we'll go here edit then add or edit then add design strip then from here go uh, now Y direction and strip B okay layer V and click here okay so here in both direction we have found our e strip so it is done now we have to go design okay we have to go here design uh, preferences so simply click here and uh, it's okay also we have defined that in our previous then design combo what will be the design combo this is our design combo it's okay actually okay so the one two it's okay and then here uh, it's done actually okay uh, so uh, from here run and click here run analysis and design run analysis and design and before that automatic mm, slab mesh option we can uh, use that automatic slab mesh option okay so before that we have to select our slab select select uh, properties uh, slab properties and from here slab okay and from here we have to go here design uh, sorry click here uh, automatic slab it's uh, done and uh, before that click here assign okay so actually it's done uh, it will uh, assign uh, slab properties automatically okay design run this is the auto slab mesh this is four feet okay it will uh, automatically consider now we'll go here run analysis and design okay so simply click here and wait for some time it's working okay when it's web clicker now sorry uh, previous time we have uh, analysis that so just a uh, simple we have to click here we have to click here uh, unlock that model okay now again click here uh, pre-select then we'll go here design uh, so run automatic slab mesh so from here 
this is the four feet we will use two feet for better uh, work then click ok so our mesh is ok now uh, I'll just go here run analysis and design so simply click here and see what happened so uh, our analysis have done and here it's showing us the maximum displacement is 0 0.008 okay and minimum is uh, minus 0 0.007 all right so our uh, uh, that slab is safe now we'll go here display here display show slab design okay show slab design show slab design simply click here and from here I will just move it that side so here this is steep based design okay for layer A and uh, here show top river show bottom river okay field diagram right then show this is the uh, reinforcing type show river intensity uh, area per unit width okay so simply click apply just see here this is the reinforcement according to layer a so it's showing the reinforcement where the reinforcement requirement uh, as per top and as per bottom it's showing the reinforcement okay so it's showing uh, in bottom the reinforcement required 0 0.1 3 inches square this is the maximum and bo in bottom at uh, column support it's very low okay so if I come here just see that when you have come here it's showing uh, the top reinforcement is zero but bottom reinforcement is here we record bottom reinforcement and our bottom reinforcement is 0 0.08 inch square actually uh, it's showing a very low reinforcement cost uh, we have uh, only we have uh, provided uh, simple uh, dead load and I mean floor finish load and live load and when we'll go for a real project then uh, we'll define many types of load okay so after that this is the layer for layer B applying and this is the value for layer V just see here this is uh, for the middle okay this is for middle and this is for column strip right this is for middle strip and this is for column strip this is the value okay just see here this is uh, it's considering as cantilever that's why it's showing uh, more reinforcement in top and less reinforcement in bottom okay so after that also you can uh, define the reinforcement according to requirement and here impose minimum reinforcement so according to our design code just uh, will uh, provide the minimum reinforcement according to our design code okay so simply one and apply so now it's showing the minimum reinforcement okay so for bottom 0 0.001 and here we have to provide reinforcement in top okay uh, it's so this is the way to design our slab and also from here this is the shared reinforcement we can see for shared reinforcement so there have no requirement of shared reinforcement right and here this is the final element uh, based on final finite element method okay so direction one top bar so here everything is okay now click apply so this is the reinforcement as per finite e finite element method so it's showing us for direction uh, one in top bar there have no requirement of bar here at middle and uh, here it's showing the reinforcement at that column and that column in top and if we go for direction it's bottom reinforcement so it's showing the bottom reinforcement is uh, 0 0.1 inch square per feet okay 0 0.1 inch square per feet so after that if we go for direction 2 so here at middle uh, record some reinforcement here okay here uh, at middle it's uh, showing uh, 0 0.3 inch square and for the bottom here it's showing at uh, column strip they have no reinforcement requirement but uh, at middle it's showing 0 0.1387 inches square per feet reinforcement so in this way just we can design our slab so after that i'll close that and uh, again i'll go here 
display then show beam design okay we will show beam design from here so from here for beam design this is longitudinal river envelope okay field diagram right uh, scale factor one show apply so just see here it's showing us uh, our beam rain for us beam reinforcement what is the requirement of reinforcement so uh, in bottom it's showing our uh, reinforcement uh, requirement is at middle 0 0.2546 inches squared i mean if we use a uh, number uh, for two bar in bottom then it's okay and for here for uh, support it's required at top 0 0.364 inches square river okay so uh, here also it's showing us at uh, top it's showing uh, some little bit reinforcement but for bottom they have no requirement of reinforcement cause this is can deliver and we know that for can deliver they have no reinforcement requirement in bottom so um, it's done and for transverse reinforcement this is for uh, longitudinal for transverse reinforcement okay just see here they have some uh, requirement of transverse reinforcement okay this is for transverse reinforcement river and uh, there have some requirement of transfer reinforcement okay just see here this is 0 0.1 inch square per feet 0 0.1 inch square per feet uh, okay so it's showing the value for reinforcement okay and if we go here for longitudinal and for envelope this is for our envelope and reinforcement impulse also obviously always try to use impose minimum reinforcement so it will consider minimum reinforcement as per design code so it's showing the value of i mean area of reinforcement that are required where so it's showing the value so this is the way to design our slab and beam also okay so i'll just close that now if you want to go in detailing and if you want to find out that value in detailing simply come here detailing so uh, detailing preferences so from here use a unit which unit you want to use so from here use your you can use matrix or you can use us okay so from here change anything you required actually i'm not going to uh, show in details about detailing i will show you our detailing I would uh, I will make a full video about detailing preferences that how can we create a perfect detailing uh, by using CSS safe and uh, I mean at the end of this series so press ok after that detailing ok beam reinforcement preferences we can select that anything what will be the beam reinforcement what will be the column reinforcement or uh, sorry what will be the slab reinforcement or mat uh, mat foundation reinforcement okay then uh, drawing format properties and drawing sheet paste uh, paste setup so i'll just simply come here and click here for run detailing so click here so it's okay it's done so this is the this is a section this is our section two and this is our section one so i'll just simply click here uh, drawing list then here our uh, general note so this is the general note okay this is the river shape code okay so this is the river shape code after that here the cartelment rules beam cartelment rules so mm, here is the beam cartelment rules so for mat as we are not using mat this is for uh, slab and uh, also this is what a river schedule bill okay actually uh it's not showing any data because we, uh, we we do not have provided uh that value for perfectly and uh here for beam simply click here so it's showing the number of beam actually this river schedule it's not giving us any value then for elevation so uh here is the elevation actually for beam reinforcement elevation it's uh here is the beam reinforcement elevation okay just see here here is the beam reinforcement elevation okay here scale are also given so is the elevation of beam uh, it's showing us 260 mm uh, bottom bottom beam okay and here it's showing for 
27 10 mm 5 inch center to center distance data okay so uh, also if we go here cross section 1 this is the section for our uh, beam okay so this is for elevation of this is the elevation of our uh, cantilever portion and here is the cross section actually this is the cross section with slab this is the 12 inch and it's showing us uh, 2 in bar in top 6 uh, 20 mm bar and in bottom 16 mm bar and our beam with our 10 inch so is that uh, 10 mm bar as a strap so actually and here is the drawing sheet okay so the uh, slab plan here is the slab plan so actually in this way we can uh, design our and here is the slab cross section this is the cross section for slab and if you see here this is the reinforcement it's showing us the reinforcement for our bottom and top so this is uh, showing reinforcement for bottom okay 10 uh, bc and 10 mm bc and 10 mm b reinforcement and for top it's top reinforcement 12 mm top top reinforcement here okay as a top bar and also it's 12 mm and here it's showing 10 mm bottom bar okay so in this way just we can uh, draw and design our data as requirement so i think uh, it's clear to you that how we'll find out a detail actually i will create a detailed uh, video on detailing so that's why i'm not sh going to discuss about that anymore here so uh thank you thank you very much and if you think that it is helpful for you then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and also like our video share our video so thank you thank you very much and in this channel you will get many video about civil engineering related so stay connected till next video